festival was created so that there was a place for all of us in the community to come together and really nurture the development of theatre for youth. We present several works every year over the course of the whole festival. Um, we have an adjudication process and through that we include members of the New York theatre community to come in and look at some of the works that are being submitted to us and then through that process we, we select work. A great opportunity for our participants that we offer is just connecting the community. It's really a pool of resources that, you know, if somebody needs help with one aspect of production, then we will do our best to try to find somebody to help fill in that space. Sound designers, costume designers, directors even. One thing that we're actually pretty excited about is working really closely with the artists in terms of helping them develop their work in whatever stages they might be in. One of my favorite things about this festival this past year was, was seeing the process from the script to the stage and working with those people to, to make that happen. It's really possible to go through that process with us as a festival. We are there to help the artist all along the way. We have um, materials for the arts which is really great for any props or anything they need for production of the show so they can go to this big huge warehouse out in Queens and just take things for free. We have a fantastic promotional team that's working behind us that we're really proud to be working with and a stellar advisory board from Tom Schumacher who is the president of Walt Disney Theatrics here in, in the city, Cheryl Hansen, she's been so helpful along the process. John Tartaglia from Johnny and the Sprites, who also was a big Broadway star as well. So we have some people involved in the advisory board who really understand children's entertainment and also understand how to get artistic works transformed into commercial artistic works. Because yes, we're all in this to create art, but it's something that can be a viable, sustainable living. The festival itself was really wonderful. Not only to see their dreams and works realized, but to see how that affected the community and the children that came in. We wanted everything to come together and the artists to feel like they were moving forward with momentum with their work. And we wanted the community to come out and watch and appreciate and interact. And that's exactly what happened. We had New York Children's Theatre Companies come to every weekend of shows. We had almost a thousand people come out. It was just very joyous and really exciting for a successful year.